Okay, hi, this is Lee Solden. This is World Languages Live. It is 6.19 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 8.14.2020. That's August 14th, 2020. The topic is teaching Dutch. And I'm teaching Dutch with a natural language acquisition system that I came up with myself. I, I termed it uh, accelerated immersion. And it has three parts. First part, surround yourself with the language. And then within that, you never stop doing that part. Next thing you do is you start doing ear tuning exercises and you never stop those. You do a lot at first and you can tell, you do less, but you never stop doing it completely. Third part is to start doing read throughs. This is where you actually start to pick the language up with a natural language acquisition method. It's not studying, it's called read throughs. So I call it read throughs, okay? Uh, my second video I did today, uh, I demonstrated how to do uh, ear tuning exercises, okay? And cut off half of it, but I got, I got enough of it. You get an idea of how the ear tuning exercises go, okay? So watch that video. If you can't understand my written instructions, and there are written instructions in the comments to the video. The whole program is in the comments to that video. So if you, if you click on that video that slash Depover made, everything's there you need. Ear tuning syllables, word by word translation, what he's saying, the text of what he's saying. Um, I also got it translated into uh, Dutch without any West Flanders in it, which I had to do anyway because from there, I was able to translate it into Italian and Spanish and French and Portuguese and German. So I have those translations. Now eventually I'll have the word by word translations, but everything you, everything you need, the instructions, the whole program, everything is right there. There's no, this is all free. There's no charges. Everything you need is there. Get you a darn good start on learning Dutch along with a bit of uh, a bit of uh, introduction to the West Flanders accent. Oh, in my word by word translation, I put down F W F West Flanders. Okay, means that, hey, this is West Flanders, and I tell you what it means, the Dutch means, and then from there to tell you what the English means. So in this segment, we're going to talk about read throughs, and tomorrow I'm going to concentrate on what do you do if you're visually impaired and you can't follow ear tuning syllables by reading them, and you, 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 have, you have a trouble following them with Braille. Um, I tell people if they're reading Braille, they don't have to follow the ear tuning syllables as they're being spoken. They gotta make an attempt. That means you, you get familiar for a little, little area here, a little area there, and listen for that much here, listen for that much there, that kind of thing. But I also can do the whole thing audio wise, which I did on this second video, but it got cut off. So try that again tomorrow. So tomorrow it's aimed for people who are uh, visually impaired. They want to learn a language by my method. How do you do the ear tuning syllables? So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Today, I'm going to give you a practical example of exactly what to do for read throughs. This is the area. Now these read throughs, I tell I'm telling you right up front, they won't do you much good if your ear is not tuned to the language. But let's assume some of you some of you out there are German speakers or Swedish speakers and your ear is already tuned in good enough to follow the Dutch a little bit. It might do you some good to do these read throughs right now. But for the average person, if you if the Dutch sounds all slurred to you and you really can't make any of it out, don't spend a lot of time doing these read throughs. Learning the language is not important. No child learns the language first. First, they first their ear is capable of hearing it correctly. They're hearing the sounds being made around them as clear syllables. Okay. Then the words start getting associated. So anyway, once you've uh, done the whole two hours of ear tuning exercises, so that's a half hour each morning and each night before you go to bed for two days, maybe a third day, combined with a bunch of passive listening where 
You don't have to pay any attention to it. So it should take none of your time. So really, all how much time does it take you really to be able to hear this Dutch correctly? Two or three hours of your time. Then you start doing the read-throughs. So to do a read-through, we look at it, we, okay, we look at we look at a sentence in Dutch. You look at it and you probably don't understand. It says the first sentence is, um, and I'm not gonna tell you the first sentence yet, because I want people to do read-throughs and not know what that very first sentence means. Okay, because I want you to listen very carefully. Okay. So instead of that sentence, we'll go to the, the second sentence uh, or the second thought here. It says he says Ale. And that's just a that is a means okay. Okay. And I believe that is from French. Okay, this is French influence. Um Ale just means uh let's go. Ale uh, Ale means let's go in French. But anyway, Ale it could I think it just might mean from from the Ale to go uh in um in French, I'm guessing. Anyway, Ale, okay. Volgens sign eigen uh theory. Okay, what does that mean? Uh okay, uh according to Volgens. Um it's it's like from the word following. Uh you got a F in, in English, but it's a V here. Volgens, Volgens. So anyway, according to so okay, according uh, to Zain means his. Um, the, the the word Zain also also means to be in, in in Dutch. Okay, but it means his all his and to be. In this case, it's his. So okay, according to his own own is Achen Achen uh, Achen. I think uh, uh, he pronounces more uh, Achen Achen. Eichen. Okay. I think standard Dutch would be more like Eichen, Eichen, but a little, little difference in how they say that I versus A. Okay. Anyway, moving along. So, okay. According to his own theory, it looks like the word theory, but it's, it's, they don't pronounce THs and neither Dutch nor German. So it's Teori, Teori. So according to his own theory, uh, Zao shall uh, days of manier shall this manner okay according this manner shall this manner comma dot high yelly will tonin okay dot is that high he yelly you all will is will tonin show okay recently have you listened just that much. Um, okay, according to his own theory, shall this manner that he is going to show you that high yelly will tone and tone and show, uh, say you looked at it a little bit and, uh, okay, now you're ready, ready to read it. Okay. So you play the audio book at that point, just play that part of the sentence. So you hear, Ale Volchens sein Eichen. Terry, Teori, Zaudeza Manir, Dahe Yeli, Will Tonin, stop. You probably didn't understand anything you just heard because it's the first day, maybe it's the very first day you're doing this, right? You look over the notes. Okay, Ale to go, Volgans according to Zain, is uh, his, Eichen, own, uh, Teori, Theory, Zao. Shall days this manier manner dot that hey yelly that he you hey yelly will tone and will show okay listen okay you look you so you studied a bit listen to the Dutch Ale Hochen sein eigen theory zal deze manier dot hey yelly will tone and Nah, you know what? Still nonplussed. Oh, don't don't worry about it. Read it again. Ale hochen sein eigen theory zal deze manier dat high yelly will tonen. Look over your notes again. Read and re listen to it again in the video. Ale hochen sein eigen theory zal deze manier dat high yelly will tonen. 
Now, what do you do next? You, you read it three times. Oh, maybe you want to look, at, look over your notes again. Okay, Ale, okay, Volgens, Volgens, according to Sein, his eigen own theory, theory, Zao, shall, Deza, this, Manir, Okay, 